Yo, what's going on guys? We just heard that Herb Jones, first off, Jackson Hayes is going into free agency. The Pelicans don't care, but the Herb Jones situation, they're declining his team option, which he will test now free agency as a restricted free agent. And he's coming back. They're working on a long-term contract. So we know that Willie Green expects Herb Jones to expand his offensive game, handle the rock more this coming season. As we've seen that at times that Jones can score and initiate offense. So the plan is to do that more on a nightly basis. And there's a possibility he gets a fat contract, but I think he's in line for a substantial raise. Look, Lou Dort and Jalen Brunson are averaging 18 to 25 a year after having great playoff performances. And we've seen Mitchell Robinson, Chris Boucher, and Gary Payton. Mitchell Robinson got 60 million, Chris Boucher got 35, Gary Payton got 28. So when we look at this, I think for Jones, a good contract as he was snubbed from all defensive team past two years. I, I think really when we look at this situation, I think three years, 60 million, could be something he gets or I'm thinking four year 72 million is what you give Herb Jones okay because Herb Jones is a great player really and he's done a lot for this team and he's he's a guy that I think with more and more time he's going to be able to show that hey I can handle the rock. I can do this and that. It's it's more so in the fact that he's an elite level athlete who's got a great frame for the NBA, which allows him to guard one through four. He's not a polished offensive player, nor is he a volume shooter, but he's showing that he has room for improvement. He makes the right rotation reads. He makes the right you know defensive slides and. Going back, he'd probably be a lottery pick, let's be honest. Probably be a lottery pick. This is a guy who finished this past year. His stats, I know it's nothing to you know blow you out the mind. He increased his points per game total by 0.3. All right. Again, nothing's going to blow you out. So through 144 games through two seasons, this is a guy who's averaged 9.7 points, 1.6 steals, just under a block a game, two and a half assists a night. All right, four rebounds while shooting 34% from three on about two and a half attempts a game and shooting 47% from the field on seven and a half attempts. And something I did want to talk about was he closed out the season being a 10 points per game score at post all-star break while shooting 44% from three on two and a half attempts. But the best was in April where he was a 15 and a half points per game score, averaging 1.6 blocks, 1.2 steals, three assists, three and a half assists, four and a half rebounds while shooting 61% from three on almost three attempts a, a night, 58% from the field on nine attempts. Herb Jones has got game. game.